Amy, welcome to CRS from California. Welcome back to New York City and the CRS. So great to be here. Thank, thank you, you so. thank you. And uh, I'm so happy to share the movie Great Blessings. So it's a story, the miracle story happened in Japan. And it's really something for us, all of our Japanese uh, staff and uh, CRS staff uh, to share this movie with you. Yes. So, and you gave us the uh, great insight. So, could you tell us um, the, um, the some point briefly uh, what you received uh, from the movie? Yes. A Great Blessing uh, really permeated my heart. I've watched it three times now, and it stays with me. It's, it's inspiring. It's thought-provoking. Three things that come to mind right now are Jokyo, who uh, is a great dancer, but at 17 has a, a terrible incident in her family where her arms are cut off ultimately becomes uh, a nun, a sort of monk, an inspirational figure. And when the terrible crime is committed and she's in the hospital uh, in shock and the press comes and asks her and the police come and ask her, you know, don't you hate your stepfather for doing this to you? She says, no, if I were to hate him, I would hate myself. And so she has some deep organic grasp of forgiveness and she just lets go. And she actually advocates for him because she says that he didn't do it. It was the torment of what had happened to him that drove him to lash out violently at family members. She understood that he was not his action. And so she demonstrated great empathy what A Course in Miracles would call true empathy. Mm -hmm. Then she, she takes on as a disciple um, Masanori. Yes. Masanori, too, has lost his arms in a childhood accident, and she nurtures him and actually teaches him to become a painter. And Masanori says that this phrase, kafuku ichinyo, yes, kafuku ichinyo means Happiness and unhappiness are the same. And I felt that he really somehow understood what A Course in Miracles asks us, which is, do you choose, do you prefer to be right or to be unhappy? Masanori could have been right that he was the victim of a terrible accident and that he could hate his parents, he could hate God, he could hate life. But at a certain point, he chose to shift his attitude and to be happy. And he said, if having no arms is the prescription for unhappiness, then I could never be happy. But actually, happiness comes from the mind, which is exactly what A Course in Miracles says. <laughs> and the third thing that really stood out is Masanori talks about when he chooses a subject for his paintings, he faces a flower. He likes to paint nature, flowers, landscapes, trees, particularly flowers. And the phrase he uses is that he faces a flower and that there's this deep, quiet stillness and then somehow the painting comes through him. And it was so clear to me that he experienced the holy instant over and over again when he was in the act of painting. Somehow he let go of the personal self and his wife said that the energy around him while he was painting was, was so powerful she could hardly stand it. <laughs> Those are three things. Wonderful. So he focused on flowers, but if you see that the cherry blossom, of course the flowers are beautiful, but the uh, if you see the trunk, it's a wonderful detail. Mm. So he focuses, focuses on flowers and he 
breath, everything at the same time. You can feel it if you get to watch this movie. You, you can feel yeah. the blessings, the yeah. miracles. It's a miracle yeah. story in Japan, and uh, one forgiveness extended uh, another person's tragedy, and uh, that forgiveness changed that tragedy into the miracles. And that miracles reached another person, and that person made this movie, and then now, this story, this power of forgiveness come to us, comes to us, and we accept and we receive. And uh, I believe all the audience of this movie yesterday just can expand this mind, this spirit. Yes, yes. I'm so happy. And any tragedy, you know, this happens to be the weekend of September 10th and 11th. Yes. And uh, the 15th anniversary of September 11th in New York. Any tragedy can be used as an opportunity for healing, forgiveness, and awakening to your true self. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much, Amy. Thank you. Especially on this particular unforgettable day of 911 for New Yorkers, you came back here and you talk about it, it's a something. Thank you very much. Thank you.